today's vlog. I think that today is going to be an exciting day. I'm pretty sure that our baby's coming home from the NICU today. So depending on just like discharge and how she's doing and all of that stuff, she might come home tomorrow morning. So they said either this afternoon or tomorrow morning. So I'm hoping for this afternoon. They just told us yesterday that she was gonna be able to come home probably today. So I'm actually not prepared at all. Well, no, I am a little bit. I have her stuff set up like in her dresser, all her clothes and everything, but I don't even really know if we have clothes that fit her. I wanted to bring her home and see if like her newborn stuff fits her before I order her preemie stuff since she is so small. And they have her in clothes in the NICU and she's worn some newborn outfits and some preemie outfits and the preemie ones always Bit better but since i didn't know when exactly she would come home i haven't like bought anything i wanted to just kind of see what i need i have another like load of laundry to do just with a couple things for her and i have a couple outfits that are meant to be for like babies under seven pounds so we're kind of just gonna see what we have and we can order other stuff if i need to but i need to bring up like car seat she has to do a car seat test where she basically just like sits in the car seat for an hour and a half and they just track like her breathing and everything and make sure that like her head is strong enough to like hold her or what did they say they have to make sure that basically they just want to make sure she can like support her own neck to like keep her airway open if she's sitting in the car seat so she needs to do that today and then i have to watch some type of like 30 minute cpr video there's just lots of stuff that is happening today but i will say that if you're gonna have a nikki baby it's kind of nice that it's not my first baby because I feel like I'm a lot more chill with everything because I know that like basically there's just nothing I can do except be chill like there's just no reason for me to be super stressed because she's doing well and I know she's gonna come home and be totally fine so as much as it has like really sucked that she's in there and I'm very over it because it's been a long time I'm just grateful that she's doing well and that she's gonna get to come home today or tomorrow and the girls are also excited for her to come home so Let's see, what do I need to get done? I actually have a virtual meeting in a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna do that and then go to the hospital. This is the little setup that we currently have. So this is the bassinet that I've used for all of the girls. So I have these little sleep sacks. I need to wash these. And then I have a couple of outfits that I also need to wash, but I think these are gonna be too big for her right now anyways. So I don't know if I'll wash those today, but I need to wash these. I usually just like to have my bassinet right here. And then I like to just keep a basket of like all the essential things. So I need to put diapers in here. I have wipes. I have binkies. I have lotion. I need to set up the sound machine. I have some burp cloths. What else? I have a little changing mat. So I guess the only other thing that I need to put in here is just a few outfits and probably like a swaddle or something. So I actually will unplug this and plug in this sound machine. Stick it on the window. I actually need to also bring a baby monitor down here. So I have a few like random things like that that I need to do. I feel like most things are ready and I'm not really like stressed out about anything that I need to do, but it's just like the finishing touches of making sure everything is ready for her. Okay, we are about to head out. I just am taking my vitamins before we go. I just started taking the Ritual postnatal vitamins instead of the prenatal ones that I was taking. So thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. I also took these after I had Lola and I'm pretty sure I took their prenatals when I was pregnant with Lola too. It just helps with peace of mind after you've had a baby to know that all of your nutritional needs are taken care of by your vitamin. Just two little capsules every day. They're also gentle on the stomach. You can take them with or without food. So normally I try to take them with my breakfast just so that I don't forget. But it is nice if I do forget that I can take them like at any point in the day. And your nutrient needs change between pregnancy and postpartum. Hi, are you ready? You're gonna be a candy. Your ingredients are also traceable. So you guys can see everything that's in here, where everything is from. A lot of these are actually from Utah, which is cool. Their vitamins have an essence of lemon or mint. Since I even got pregnant, I feel like my stomach has not been the same. Obviously I'm not like sick anymore. I'm having all the food aversions and everything. I feel like my stomach just kind of has not fully gone back to normal in terms of like my appetite and everything. So the fact that these have a mint essence makes them way easier to take. They also have a clean formula. So they are formulated with clean, high quality key ingredients and they're also vegan non-gmo gluten-free and made your allergen free too ritual is also a subscription so it makes it super easy for when you run out you don't have to remember to order more so my code will get you guys 25 percent off of your first order it's just ritual.com slash aspen 25 they have a ton of different vitamins so if you're not like pregnant or postpartum they have just like a normal women's multivitamin they have one for men also if you don't end up liking ritual within the first 30 days then your order is on them so the link for these is going to be down below okay so it's so bright in front of this window right now. 
I just ate lunch. I actually get a free meal here every day during the NICU stay, and I haven't taken advantage of that even one time. So since today's the last day, I just ordered lunch, but you actually aren't supposed to eat in here. So I just went out there and ate it. The baby's doing her car seat test right now. So she basically has to just like sit in her car seat for 90 minutes. She's probably like halfway done right now. So I think so far so good. So I'm basically just sitting and waiting. Parker dropped me off. We were thinking that he could drop me off and then like go take the girls to get lunch and then she could do the car seat test and then come back. But I had to wait until her next feeding and she had like just eaten so basically i've been here for like a lot of hours and i don't have a car to like be able to leave but i've just been like sitting here and holding the baby and hanging out so i didn't need to leave anyways especially because i just got lunch here but parker's gonna come back to pick us up as soon as she's done with the car seat test i'm pretty sure that's the last thing that we need to do and then we can leave so um, i'm kind of just like gathering all my stuff up i'm pretty sure hospitals have to literally throw away like everything in your room if you've been staying in there so take everything if you're having a baby i'm basically just like gathering up all of my stuff and then i think we're ready after that still have a ton of milk in the fridge i've literally been pumping so much it's like actually crazy i need to ask them if i'm supposed to take that home or what Team, two. I bought a pack of 50 milk bags off of Amazon to like put my milk in and I've used almost every single one of them already so I have like almost 50 bags of milk in the fridge which is or in the freezer which is so many so I'm trying to just keep that going while I can I think I'm probably like overproducing at this point which I haven't had that problem before but I think your milk regulates around like six weeks or so so I want to just like put as much Rabbit in the freezer response. As I can. Little baby sister is in her car seat. And if you guys have ever wondered what the NICU looks like, this is basically what it looks like. So there's a little like bed over there. There's a chair here. So basically when I come visit her, I literally just sit in this chair for like hours at a time and hold her. She used to have a different kind of bed. It wasn't as much of like a crib because it had the warmer thing on it when she was like first born. But then she transitioned into this big girl bed. We keep like diapers and wipes and stuff on the bottom. And then they basically just lay here and our NICU has this camera so we can watch her on an app, which is really nice. I think this is a new thing. Yeah, then they have like all the medical stuff all the monitors and they have this curtain we have to like keep the door open but you have a little bit of privacy from having this curtain and then over here there's like the sink with her bottle and everything from the times that i'm not here and they feed her and then our room has this board thing where they write like notes and stuff for us so oh and then there's also a bathroom right here and we have this table so this has all of my crap on it. I just took her name sign off of her crib. They make them little custom name signs. And I'm gonna take that home because when the girls came to visit, they also made little name signs for the girls and they hung them up in the playroom. So I wanna take home the babies so that she can have her name sign up there too. I also forgot my water today. So I have this one. I have all of my discharge papers. I also have my Kindle because I sit here for like literally hours at a time and I just hold the baby and I don't wanna be on my phone. So I like to read. I'll show you guys what's in my Mickey bag that I have been bringing. I have all these discharge papers and stuff that normally are not in there actually a lot of this stuff is normally not in there got this book on amazon babies love like newborn babies love high con or is this high contrast if it's only two colors basically they love like black and white contrasty things like this so i brought her a book and i have not read it to her one time i just got it yesterday so i'll read it when we get home then i brought her this little outfit i don't really have any preemie clothes and preemie size fits her best but i didn't want to buy anything until i like took her home and kind of saw what i have that fits her already so this one looks so tiny if this doesn't fit her i will be so shocked yeah this is gonna be her little going home outfit i have some milk bags in my purse because i usually bring my pump actually but i didn't today just knowing that we're going home binky wipes and clorox wipes because i like to make sure that i disinfect my phone I also have these little, they call it like a cuddle cloth. Basically, I just wear this in my shirt. And then they put it next to the baby in her bed so she can like smell me. I also have this formula that they gave me, NeoSure, because they said she needs to have two to four bottles of this a day, basically just because she's like kind of little and needs some extra calories or whatever. This is like special preemie formula. So we have a doctor's appointment in a couple of days. It's Friday right now and I think our appointment is on Tuesday. So we're going to take her home for a few days and then kind of just like get a checkup for her. So I think I'm going to try just two bottles a day of this and see if that's like enough and she's gaining weight and everything. I also have a bunch of wrappers that I need to get rid of i have not been eating very healthy because i've just had a ton of like packaged snacks and stuff since i've been here so much and like during meal times and stuff bringing those out of my purse and then my kindle's usually in there and that's pretty much it i don't really bring like too much my pump is usually in here too hey coco's favorite 
to Target. I feel like we weren't in our Target era for a long time. Like I didn't hardly go there. And then now I feel like we go once a week just to get like random things that we need. So this week I needed like diapers, wipes. I feel like that was mostly it. We got a couple other like random things. Anyways, it's actually been a couple weeks since I have picked up the camera and filmed. It's been crazy having a baby, having her be in the NICU, getting out of the NICU. Um, we went down to Southern Utah and now we are back home. So we're kind of just like getting everything together. And since the baby just came so much earlier than I thought. I feel like I didn't finish all of like my nesting stuff so I feel like everything just feels like I need to go through and like declutter it all even though I literally do that all the time but there's always just more to get rid of. So I'm trying to just like get my life together, get organized. I've been trying to get the baby kind of just on like a loose schedule and I feel like that's actually going pretty well. She still sleeps a lot but I feel like we're kind of getting on just like a little bit of a routine. I feel like I cannot function if I don't have like some kind of routine especially with a baby. It just feels so chaotic to like not have an idea of how the day is gonna go or like what the baby needs or what time it is or if it's time to like feed or nap or whatever so i downloaded the baby tracker app again i use this with cove and lola and i just keep track of like when they eat and when they're sleeping and i feel like it helps so much also a lot of you guys are asking if i'm gonna share the baby's name and i haven't really fully decided i've definitely been leaning towards like not sharing it so i've kind of been waiting to just see if like like what nicknames come up for her and then i'll share something like that she has a couple nicknames so far but not any Thing that I feel like it's gonna fully stick and that I would like want to refer to her as anytime that I'm talking about her I don't know and then I also have seen people like commenting her name like they heard it from wherever and it's so weird to me <laughs> that I've like said I'm trying to not share her name just to keep a little bit of privacy for her and then people online think that they're like doing something when it's literally like the name of a newborn baby if I could go back in time I wouldn't have shared Cove and Lola's like actual names I would have just shared nicknames for them so I wish I had done that so with this baby I'm like, do I want to share her name? I think eventually I will have like something that I will refer to her as if I'm ever like talking about her. Obviously, I try to not like talk about or show my kids too much, but I think it's different when it's like postpartum and going through like the newborn phase and just navigating like adding another baby to your family. It's more about like my experience with what I'm going through versus like an older kid that has, I don't know, just more personal things to them but I do still plan to share like whatever I am doing and I'm doing a lot of things that have to do with the baby right now because she's a newborn so anyways I'm trying to think of what else it just feels like everything's been so crazy I feel like I haven't seen my bigger girls in not that I haven't seen them in a long time but just like spending so much time at the NICU and all of that I just feel like everything is like out of sorts and i'm actually going over to lauren's house tonight we are doing a little birthday girls night my birthday's really soon and i see that's really awesome one of my friend's birthday is it was a few days ago and then lauren's birthday is actually in it's like a week after mine she has the same birthday as my mom so we're doing a little birthday girls night we're gonna make charm necklaces which i'm so excited about because i've seen that all over tiktok and it looks so fun i've been wanting to order one but i just haven't so now i'm gonna make my own and i think we're doing like paninis and stuff and lauren is always so great at like parties and all of that so i feel like i need to do a whole other video on just like a life update and like adjusting to adding another baby i don't have any of my thoughts like gathered up right now i kind of just like randomly grabbed the camera and turned it on i have a vlog that's like halfway edited so i'm gonna finish editing that and then get that up for you guys I feel like i've been posting a lot on like tiktok instagram i'm not good at posting on that regularly but i feel like i'll try to keep up with stories and whatever but youtube still is just kind of like it's not as much of a schedule there so i'm definitely still posting what i can but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog it might be a little bit short but let me know in the comments how long you guys like vlogs because i feel like if it's under 15 minutes like is that enough because i feel like when i watch a vlog usually i'm not like sitting and watching i'm like turning it on and then like cleaning or doing something so i want it to be long i don't know if everybody wants it to be that way so let me know if you guys like under 15 minutes or over 15 what let me know what you guys like but anyways that is the life update for now so that's all for today but i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye guys Thank you.